What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel, Demos Diecast. Thank you guys for tuning in today. Shout out to all of the returning viewers and subscribers. Thank you, thank you, and welcome to all of our first-time viewers and new subscribers. Thank you guys, much appreciated. Uh, today, we are going to be opening up a couple of uh, new team transports. So, uh, first up, I had been on the hunt for this one for the past couple weeks. Um, of course, every time somebody saw it on the pegs, they clean them out. Nothing you can do. Uh, so, boom. Castrol Honda Accord. This thing is crazy. And being a Honda guy, this was a must-have for the collection. So, super, super happy. I was able to find this for retail at Target yesterday. So, super happy with that. Um, really, really geeked out. So boom, got that one. And the other day, I walked into Walmart, um, literally just to grab some random stuff. And boom, they had the Legends Tour uh, shippers out. So I was able to pick up one of these as well. So super, super happy with this. Um, let's get both of these open and take a closer look. And first up, we got the Nissan Laurel Legends Tour. Super sick. This is the Aerolift hauler with the, like I mentioned, Nissan Laurel um, here on the car. Uh, super dope. Got the 24 on there for 2024 Legends Tour. Um, this thing is super nice. Really, really cool. Uh, black on black, black wheels. And then the Legends Tour hauler. Um, again, super, super sick. I do have the Legends Tour Corvette and the Legends Tour, I think it was the Custom Nova. Um, I do have both of those loose and open. Um, I did have an opener of the Porsche, but I ended up giving it to my buddy Alex because he was looking for an opener. So eventually I'll track another one of those down, probably through trade, and get that one to, uh, as an opener as well. But yeah, all in all, this thing's super dope. Let's take a quick look. So no detailed headlights or anything on it. Um, you do get some turn signals down here on the front. Nice uh, tampered up grill there. You can kind of see that paint, um, some venting and stuff like that. Some fog lights down here. Uh, do get windshield wipers. You got some um, lights up top. Legends Tour. Um, these would be like toolboxes and stuff on the side. More Legends Tour branding there. Um, super cool that they actually released this one in stores. I don't know if your stores have got them yet. If you haven't seen these, keep an eye out um, at your Walmarts. They're putting out shippers that have uh, Legend Store haulers, they have uh, car Zamax sets, truck Zamax sets, and Legend Store sets, uh, as well as some Legend Store t-shirts. So if those have not hit your city yet, keep an eye out for those because they are on the way. Um, nice wheels there, big 12 millimeters. So all in all, nothing too much to this, but um, I do like this hauler. It's super cool. I think the only one that I like more is the one that has the tires up above. So we'll go ahead and set this one back and let's take a look at the laurel so this is super dope got those black five spoke uh wheels eight millimeter on there um again your 24 for the year 2024 side marker there uh some laurel badging there uh nice detailed door handle keyhole your legend store stripe there got some legend store branding back here um super dope Take a look at the rear, nice tampered up tail lights. Got your turn signal in the middle with the red and your reverse light. Again, Laurel branding there. Um, nothing on the back. I'm not sure what that would supposed to be, maybe like an emblem or something. Exhaust, not too crazy, just kind of hangs out underneath. Um, but yeah, all in all, this thing is actually really dope. I'm glad I was able to find one for retail in store. Um, take a look at the front, tampered up turn signals, tampered up headlights, tampered up grill. Everything looks really nice, um, proportionate. Everything is on point. So super, super dope. Uh, we'll go ahead and set that one on the back with its hauler. And next up, 
going to be the Accord transport. So let's cut this one open and take a closer look. And boom, there it is. Super sick. Uh, so this is the Fleet Street hauler that I was talking about with the tires up top. Um, very, very similar to the other one. Uh, major difference is that it does have the tire rack with the wheels and tires in there. So super dope on that. Uh, we'll go ahead and set the Accord off to the side. We'll take a look at the hauler real quick. Um, so on the Fleet Street, let's take a closer look. Get some nice Castrol uh, branding here on the front grill. So super sick. Do get some headlights down there on the bottom with some more grills in between. Uh, windshield wipers on there. Do get some signal lights up here on the top of the cab. So that's pretty nice. Uh, interior doesn't look too crazy. I've never really even paid attention to the interior on these, on any transport, to be honest with you. Um, so again, more, here's going to be your gas filler. You do get those same wheels and the green on this one. Again, 12 millimeter, so super dope. Um, Castrol branding down the side with your stripe. Do get uh, rear mud flaps on this one. Uh, the other one did not have painted tail lights. This one does have painted tails, so that's super sick. Um, looks like what diamond plating um, here. You got some indication of some straps back here. Uh, so super sick there. Again, your tires up top. Uh, super dope. I really I I like the Fleet Street uh, hauler. I think this one's super cool. Um, the the front end is a little bit different uh, than the other one that we saw, but um, all in all, it's uh, pretty much the same. So let's move on to the Accord because this is where I'm really excited. Um, this thing is sick, guys. This was a real race car uh, livery back in the day. This was a JTCC or BTCC, which is Japan Touring Car Championship or British Touring Car Championship. Uh, but this is a real livery from back in the day. I'm so happy that they brought this out. Um, like most people, uh, the stance on this car is horrible. Um, it should not be sunken in that much. Like that's That just looks terrible. From the side, it doesn't look bad, but from like a front angle, it looks horrible. Uh, the main reason is because this car in real life, the wheel did tuck, right? So you couldn't see the top of the wheel entire combo. In order for Hot Wheels to pull that off, um, they had to make this area really, really thin, make the wheel more sunken in because of the thickness of the casting. So if you look here and you see how thick the casting is, they had no chance of pushing this out to the to, to be flush, but then also still tuck and still roll. So I'll be working on this one for sure. Um, I did do my other one, my Boulevard one. Uh, but basically what you just got to do is you got to get in here. You got to shave some of this material back so it's thinner. And then you can push your axle out a little bit further. It gives it more of a flush look. But um, they tried. I, I totally get what they were trying to do, and um, I do applaud them for doing so. It's just the thickness of the casting doesn't allow them to push it all the way out. So, um, interior, you get a really nice cage in there, one racing seat, decent texture on the inside. You got a, just a driver's side racing seat, it's right hand drive. Um, but yeah, you can see the cage in there, really, really nice. So, super dope. You got all of the sponsors on there. Number 16, you got your Honda badging, Accord badging, Bridgestone, Castrol again, Castrol, Bridgestone. So super, super dope. Um, headlights, tampos look really good. You do get a Honda badge there in the middle of the grill. Um, some paint in the middle of the grill down here. So super sick. Again, Castrol and Accord. And take a look at the tails. Um, Nice tampoed up tail lights. I'm not sure why this is like missing material. I guess kind of made it look like reflective or something. I don't know. It doesn't look the greatest to be honest with you, but um, no big deal. Red spoiler, which is a separate piece. And yeah, you get your Honda and your 16 in there. And then this car did come with a center exit exhaust um, back in the day. So that's why they have this coming out the back because this is honestly, it's a race car casting. So um, all in all, super, super dope. Really happy to lock this one down, especially for retail. Um, so, yeah, super happy to add this one to the stable. Um, so, yeah, that's going to do it for today's vid. Um, I'm loving both of them, to be honest with you. Uh, the Legends Tour was a lot more dope out of the package than I thought it was going to be. But going with the Honda because I'm a Honda guy. So, um, all in all, really, really happy to lock it down. Super excited. So let me go, let me know in the comments, guys, if you have seen this new mix in your your city. 
uh, what you thought about this one, if you plan on grabbing the Accord or the other ones in the mix. And uh, let me know if you've also seen these Legends Tour shippers at your Walmarts locally yet. Um, if you haven't, keep an eye out. They are coming. So uh, thank you guys again for tuning in. If you haven't already, smash that like button. Um, don't forget to drop a subscribe as well. And we'll be back in a few days with another banger. So thank you guys once again for tuning in. Much appreciated. We'll see you on the next one. One love.